Hi, good morning. This is Mickey Picon, the contest director. Another classic day of surfing. It's looking heavy and a bit tricky, but uh, we definitely will be on. Uh, so let's make the call for the Quicksilver Pro France. You got a couple of sick lefts, and then it came back up on onto the contest site and then he got like one smoke as I was getting changed and I, kept, I was like, I heard everyone like clapping and I ran out to watch the replay and yeah, it, I'm stoked he, uh, he surfed really well. Jeremy started off with a couple of good waves and then right at the end, Kieran kind of came back and fought harder and got that one good wave. That wave he got was like, it, it came off, it drawed off and it was like peaking up real good and uh, kind of took off and he kind of like slid down the face when he pulled in and it just ran off perfect. I stayed on the beach just to watch Kelly sit because I knew there was going to be some, some magic going on. The 9.7 was a crazy wave because um, Jadson had priority and, and Kelly was even deeper than Jadson and Jadson thought the wave was uh, too gnarly and Kelly just went and didn't even hesitate and he found two amazing barrels out there and Jackson couldn't even get away. My last heat was just me, Kalohan, John John, and um, yeah, that was a great heat, you know, just young guys and then um, I think the oldest was me, 20 years old, and uh, I felt like I was in a pro junior heat, but um, you know, in a bigger stage, like World Series stage, but um, we had a lot, of, a lot of fun and it was sick heat. You want to make the heat because you want to make it through the, straight to the quarterfinals, and, uh, but at the same time, no pressure, you know, no priority, so you can get um, a lot of waves. I was just happy to be in the water, happy to get a good barrel and um, yeah, hopefully next round it gets better. really found some good rhythm, went a little bit further to the south and uh, as you can see he had a couple of good little bowls and he made it to everyone and um, doing it quite easy, it's like he's surfing, he's always looked so easy. Gabriel is a pretty aggressive surf, especially in the three man's heat. Kieran got a couple of good ones in it, and he didn't get a third one. Surf again this afternoon, so hopefully he can uh, get one or two. So that was the end of the losers round, and then we'll have the, uh, round five, and hopefully, if conditions stay good, we'll get a couple of the quarterfinal heats done as well.
The wrong five was really tough for me. I didn't get the right one. I got a couple, but I didn't make it. There was a lot of pulls out and it happened. I just feel like I've never been in really in sync in a heat yet. You know, that last seat was a really close one, and a lot of times I, I uh, you know, take that as a good sign. I just got, you know, that was where I got lucky. And it, that heat probably could have gone either way. That was the end of round five, and we're going into the quarters. Going to finish those off today. John John winning the first heat and then Dane and then now Joel, they've just completely dominated. It's just weird how the good waves just go to one guy, they get in a rhythm and they just nail it. So it's just been a crazy day of action. Parker just got a 10 now and it was one of the biggest waves I've ever seen at Le Gravier. So perfect, he's just standing tall and it's just, it was perfect. It looks like Hawaii, it looks like backdoor or something. It's freaking crazy. I We start in the dark this morning and we finish in the dark tonight. It was a crazy day of surfing and we finish this day with an amazing performance of Kelly Slater. See you tomorrow for the end of the Quicksilver Pro France. Bye bye, à demain.